Earlier this week, we told you about how Hunter Biden's former business associate named Bevan Cooney, currently serving a prison term, turned over thousands of emails to journalists Peter Schweizer and Matthew Tiermont. But now Cooney is fearing for his life? Well, just days after making that email exchange public, federal agents moved Cooney from his cell in what they say was an order to protect him. Tiermont has been communicating with a family who has other concerns tonight. We're happy to have Matthew Tierman back with us tonight. Matthew, is this really about protecting Mr. Cooney's physical safety in prison? Perhaps it is, but uh, at the same time, he was in a uh, a work camp for white collar criminals and uh, was sh serving relatively short stays. These were not violent criminals, and he was eligible to be released in about a month from now. And then they take him out of this environment and move him, I found out today, to a higher security facility where he's now in solitary confinement, uh, which is not a great place to be. Uh, there's not a lot of, uh, you know, oversight when you're in that situation. So there's a lot of nervousness on his part and the family's part. Uh, and meanwhile, he was eligible again to be out in a month and he took this massive risk to get me these emails and Peter Schweitzer so we could go through them and make them transparent. So I think there's a lot of nervousness and it's a risky situation. Well, it, putting him in solitary confinement makes zero sense. He's in a minimum security you know, work uh, camp. Uh, why do you, I mean, I mean, the cynic in me, or maybe I've been around Washington too long, or I think it's way too swampy over there at the uh, Bureau of Prisons. But it seems like someone doesn't want him to talk or doesn't want to com communicate with you or Schweizer or anyone else who actually wants to get the truth out about what Hunter Biden was up to. I think this guy is a walking, talking evidence dossier that has yet to be opened up and read and learned from. And I think that's very dangerous to a lot of people who work in the federal complex. And I'm hoping that, especially with what Fox reported tonight about a transnational money laundering investigation, Lord, this is what we talked about 48 hours ago, is transnational money laundering for a Russian oligarch. Uh, if there was an investigation that was recently uh, taking place or maybe still active, I would think that you know somebody with subpoena power, whether that's the uh, U.S. attorney in Oregon or in D.C. or in the Baltimore field office of the FBI, would want to talk to Bevan Cooney, given the implications of what he has shown with his emails and what's yeah. on Hunter Biden's laptop. And his emails corroborate Hunter Biden's laptop. If there is doubt about the uh, provenance or the veracity of Hunter Biden's emails, then they should be talking to Cooney and matching up the emails. They're on emails together. So there'll be a, a corroborative mm. effect. And this is very important at the moment. Yet they want to they freeze out Cooney by putting him in solitary as we learned tonight that there is, has been or there was opened a money laundering investigation last year. And, and, the, and, the, and it was a criminal, criminal enterprise suspected, obviously, that was uh, evidence of it inside this laptop. Otherwise, it wouldn't have been subpoenaed, according to the source of the Fox News report. Matthew, this uh, we're going to have you back uh, later this week as this thing unfolds. But I hope we get to talk to the family, and I hope, uh, I hope he gets out of solitary confinement. This is outrageous.